All right, yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how we can figure out how many ways a certain event can occur. How many ways, like if I roll a pair of dice, how many different outcomes are there? <laughs> That'll be one of them that we explore, and then some various others. But yeah, we're just talking about how we can get uh, how many ways something can occur. We'll talk about several methods. Uh, the first one is just pretty direct. It's just listing, listing the, the ways out. <clears throat> that's one way you can do it now of course <laughs> when you get thousands of ways that this things can occur you, you don't want to list them all out and so we'll explore other ways of doing counting uh, more mathematically I guess you might say but yeah it's really just all about how many ways something can occur an event how many ways an event can occur now <clears throat> I say listing but let me uh, kind of clarify that a little bit. Let's call it systematic listing. <clears throat> Especially when you get larger groups, you want to have some type of system. So we'll kind of be emphasizing that as we go along. Coming up with some type of system that allows us to figure out how many ways um, something can occur. All right, so let's start... Uh, uh, start with coins. Um, <clears throat> if I flip two coins, how many possibilities are there? Four. You got four? <clears throat> okay, so yeah, we uh, list those out. Here's uh, one way of doing it. I can get two heads. I can get two tails. And then I could have uh, <clears throat> heads and a tail. And then note that we are making kind of distinction between first coin and second coin. So heads, tails is going to be different than tails, heads. So yes, there are four different outcomes here. Okay. Four is the answer there. Okay? What about if we flip three coins? How many uh, possibilities are? Well, again, we can have all heads. Heads, heads, heads. Uh, <clears throat> we can have all tails. Tails, tails, tails. But then we can have variations of heads and tails, right? We could have two heads and one tail. Now, again, making a distinction between first, second, and third coin, that's one possibility with two heads and one tail. But there's also a couple others, right? I could have them in a different order, uh, the tails in a different spot, so to speak. I could have a heads, tails, heads, or I could have the tails and then the heads, heads. That would be three different ones. See what I'm saying? All right, what else could I have? Two tails, one head. And that could occur different ways. Tails, heads, tails, or heads, tails, tails. That would about cover it, wouldn't it? Can you think of any others? We've got two... Uh, three heads, three tails, two heads, one tail, two tails, one head. That's about it. No other uh, options available. Okay? So how many are there? Eight altogether. Eight altogether. Okay? All right. <clears throat> now, the other... Uh, let me mention here something else that uh, the book might mention somewhere along the way. Let me mention it to you here. Let's do this same uh, listing. You know, our, our system was, you know, we did the three heads, the three tails, and then we did the two heads and one tail, and then we did the two tails and one head. That was kind of our system there. Well, there's also another system that, uh, that can be utilized. It'll help us um, in particular in one spot here when I get to it. 
<clears throat> but let me uh, let me show you the three coins, uh, the tree diagram for three coins. It's called a tree diagram. You'll see why that's called that in just a second. <clears throat> it's called a tree diagram. What you do? We're flipping three coins. So I'm going to do the first coin here, second coin, and then third coin, and then the results be over here. Okay, <clears throat> so we start with the first coin, and the first coin could either be heads or tails, right? So I'm going to space those out a little bit, heads or tails, because what I'm then going to do is branch off to the second coin. If the first coin is heads, then the second coin could be either a heads or tails again, right? First coin's head, so I can branch off of my first coin being heads to heads or tails. I can do the same thing for the tails on the first coin though, right? I can branch off of it to be heads or tails as well. Okay. All right, well, <clears throat> we still have a third coin. So uh, I'm going to branch off for it. Well, if the second coin is this heads, then what could the third coin be? Couldn't the third coin be heads or tails again? Yep. So we've got to branch off of it. Well, if this is the second coin here, then what could the third coin be? Heads or tails again. So you get the idea. We're branching off of each one of these heads or tails each time. With me up on that? Well, look at this. If I trace my steps all the way back, this first one would be what? Heads, heads, heads. Follow the, the branches there. Then the second one would be heads, heads, tails. The third one would be heads, tails, heads. Fourth one is heads, tails, tails. Tails, heads, heads. Tails, heads, tails. Tails, tails, heads. <laughs> and last but not least, tails, tails, tails. Okay, so <laughs> may not have been totally necessary there, but just to show you uh, an example of what is called a tree diagram, which, like I said, I'll make a point about it more in just a second, but <clears throat> it's another way to do, to do your listing. All right, with me, uh, does it look okay? All right, <coughs> well, let's, uh, we'll, you know, we'll flip coins some <clears throat> as we go, but we'll also um, do some other things. Another one we'll do is roll uh, dice, or think about rolling dice, or actually roll the dice. But um, first of all, if I roll a die, what are the possibilities there? Well, die meaning meaning singular of dice, okay? So if it's you're talking about <clears throat> uh what? The die being uh the number of cubes, what are the possibilities there? Usually it's six sides, one through six, right? Each one has a different number of dots on it. So anyway, yeah, die may may or may not know that word, but um, anyway, there's six possibilities when you roll a die. Okay, now, <clears throat> when I roll a pair of dice, How many possibilities you got on that? Well, <clears throat> if we want to, um, we can arrange this. <clears throat> may be helpful to think of this kind of in a table format. I've got um, 
two, two dice here. Call it die one and die two. And on die one, we could have one through six. On die two, we could have one through six as well. Tell you what, let's. I think the book goes goes with it like this. Die one on the left there. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, arrange it like this because here's here's the possibilities. I could have one on the die one and one on the die two. So let's just call that one one one. Then I could have one on die one and two on die two. I'm gonna have one on die one and three on die two. One four, one five, one six. For the first line. Then the second line would be two on the first die and then one and then two two three two four two five two six etc 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 could do that all through there with me is this okay so how many how many we got well we got six lines and each one's got six in it that's 36 isn't it I don't know if I'm going to write all those out, but uh, you can finish it out if you want to. And it's in the book. They have the table there, too, in <clears throat> this chapter. So how many possibilities? 36, right? Six lines of six each. That's 36. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now, sometimes what they'll do is they'll ask us uh, some other questions about our table here or the pair of dice. So, how many of these, how many rows are, uh, have a sum of four? Well, of course, <clears throat> you just want to list those out. You got one, three, you got two two, but um, be careful there because I didn't point this out. But uh, <clears throat> note here, it's kind of the same as with uh, uh, with uh, the coin problem there. You know, two one is different than one two. You notice it's both of those are listed, and three one is different than one three. So that comes into play here. Yeah, one three is a sum of four and two two. But what else? How about three one? Yeah, that's a different that's a different role. <clears throat> so there's three three ways of doing that. Um, so be sure to uh, include everything on that list there, like you do on the coin coins. Flip them around if it changes it. All right. So how many how many are there? Have a sum uh, sum of <clears throat> nine. Well, what'd be one of them, or two of them? Three six, okay. Well, three six is, and six three is also. What else? Five four. Well, 5-4 is, 4-5 is 2. Any others? 2-7? No. The die only goes up to 6, doesn't it? So uh, <clears throat> That'd be about it, I think. Four, <clears throat> four of them that have a sum of 9. Okay? Question or concern about the dice?